Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are good, I hope everything is good on your side and I hope you're enjoying all the videos that I upload. Um, you know today we have another, um, it, it is something similar to a fakir but it's a wall panel alright. Uh, so for example if we simply go to Google, <coughs> excuse me, and uh, you know if you check out all these awesome wall panel designs, look at, there's so many of them. And uh, you know they're so beautiful for example check this out um, so look at how beautiful this is um, and uh, you know we even have these so you know today we are so we're gonna make a wall panel design inside Revit alright um, it is something similar to a fake it it's nothing different but uh, today you are gonna again learn a lot of things so make sure to follow so UN as always the first one and the uh, meters all right two decimal places meters and uh, you know there are so many points today so make sure you follow it all right um two one and uh, okay now let's go to the top okay and uh, let's activate the thin lines okay so um one and uh, two two three all right okay and uh, one point right here and one point right here right so the first one let's click on this is 0 0.5 and uh, 0 0.5 okay this one is um how about we um, convert this to 0 0.1 and uh, this one is again uh, 0.1 okay finished and uh, this one is uh it's 0 0.1 again and uh uh, if you click on this so point one okay done now uh, we need two more points so I mean four more points two on each side so now if we click on this this is gonna be let's press this and change this to point um, point uh, uh, point three yes okay again if we click on this so point three and if we click on this um, opposite again so point three and uh, excuse me <coughs> if I'm coughing uh, point three again so now once all of these points are made now we have to connect all of them right so connect by spine and reference line and uh, click on this and uh, uh, click on this uh, oh my god click on this one click on this all right select both of them so spline and uh, reference lines guys make sure you follow i am going to speed up because in this one you know there are so many points and so many lines so um let's first of all deactivate uh, this 10 line okay and uh, please excuse my background noise again i have about 50 tabs open and my laptop is burning um all right so um we connect all of them and uh, now we need more points so um, all right now first of all let's click on this let's go to this and uh so point 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 and a point right here and a right here and right here okay so now let's go to modifier so let's um, click on this this is going to be um point one and uh, this is again uh let's click the opposite so point one all right this one is going to be um, point three and uh, nope's the opposite uh, so point three and uh, this one is going to be um let's convert this to hidden lines and this one is again going to be point three this is point five all right that is uh fine and now this one let's go to point three again and uh um, opposite and point three nope see uh, a point three okay this one is a uh, so you know all of them are either point one, point three, or point five. All right, these are the three main points. Uh, let's go to opposite and uh, point one. Okay, so now this is done. So now um uh, we need more points which we are gonna offset. So point again and uh, set. The first is uh, this point right here. So let's click on this and uh, okay. So that is uh, selected. Uh, that is selected and uh, that is selected and that is selected and uh, now um, for example let's go to that point and so this is the offset right let's click on here let's control that and let's change that into a controllable parameter so um for um uh, for what four points uh offset uh 0.5 meters right the names can be anything as long as you can differentiate it by the end so um for example if we click on this and we go to 0.5 and it just got offset or uh, it got offset it all right so uh, click on this point right here and uh, click on this okay so it got offset it 
so nothing hard i mean and we can even uh, combine click for example um yes i've selected uh, i don't think i have selected that anyways um, right here and uh four point offset and back to this point and uh oh my god uh so tab yes uh, and now um four points offset four points offset okay fine done these are the the four points and guys now we need more points and uh, in this case um you know we have to uh set the parameter right for every each and every one of them so point set and uh, tab okay and um set tab uh all right and uh set um nope set um tab and paste the point and uh, set uh, tab and paste the point and uh, set and tab and paste the point and uh, set again as the same right so why am I saying it again and again uh, is the same workflow nothing hard nothing complicated but it's just gonna take a bit of your time but uh, you know the final shape is gonna be fun the one that we initially saw um, okay, so now all of them are offset it. I mean all of them are pasted now uh, if you go to this and uh, If you click right here, so um, Points offset and it got off so said it got offsetted. Sorry. Uh, so one Let's try to do it combinedly. Why are we doing it one by one? So one and two and three and four five um, six seven and eight all right and uh, this is the offset so 0.5 and check this out guys so you know we have in a way we have replicated the bottom and, uh, and the top one all right so now um now you know most of the work is almost done so let's click on this let's click on this let's click on this and connect and uh, spline and uh uh, let's click on this one two three and four <laughs> you know the I mean the process is a bit uh, hectic but the final product is gonna be nice uh, it's something similar to we saw right uh, a wall panel and even it you know this can even be used as a facade right so it can be used as facade and even a wall panel but the shape is interesting the final shape uh, one and two and three and four connected by spine and guys you guys remember right when we were setting these points so um i mean this point is connected to this point because that is the plane that we had set so for example if you go to 0.5 uh even the top one is going to change all right this is what i wanted so 0 0.05 check this out all right uh, that's why i had set it so 0 0.05 and uh, this can be what can this be this can be um uh 0.35 and the top one is going to change right so the top one is connected to the bottom one because uh, that because we had set the plane to so 0.35 okay perfect and uh this one is going to be uh 0.35 and uh, uh point point mm, thirty five, and uh, this is going to be what uh, 0 0.05 and uh, this is going to be um 0 0.05 okay and uh, now um we are almost done so click on this click on this and connect and spline click on that and uh, click on that and spline and connect okay click on this and click on this and spline and uh, connect and uh, click on this and uh, click on this and spline and connect and uh, click on this and uh, click on this and spline and connect and click on this and click on this and spline and uh, connect again and oh my god there are so many connections we have to do so um okay that is connected and one final connection is still left this and uh, this right here so okay that is selected and uh, you know let's make our first shape so that uh, it kind of gets a bit interesting all right that is the first shape and uh, this point and this point so that is the second shape and one and two and that is the third shape 
and uh, this point and this point so connect and uh, spline right so this point and uh, this point connect and spline and uh, okay so one two and uh, three connect all right perfect check this out um it is the same on this way so spline and uh, all right so one and two and three and uh, connect so one and two and three and uh, connect so one and two and three and connect and there's so many connections oh my god um so um the last one finally um guys the process is going to be lengthy but the final product is going to look nice all right so check this out finally uh this is uh, so this is uh you know the design of the facade that is already made uh, look at how nice it looks and uh, you know finally it got completed and uh, project and uh, let's go to um architectural uh, nope architectural template okay so let me have a sip from my coffee all right so the first thing is the un and uh, let's go to meters 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 all right uh, two decimal places and uh, meters okay okay let's go to massing inside let's go to in place mass okay mass one let's go to line and let's place a line of uh, okay let's place a line of 20 meters let's go to 3d view let's go to close all inactive views let's click on this let's uh, go to um create form and uh, let's change this to 10 meters okay and uh, now um tab and select all of them so derive surface and uh we have to okay okay so um fixed distance if you guys remember um it was two meters by one meter right so two and uh, fixed distance again uh one and uh, now uh, for example uh we have to load in our family so um load family load family load family come on um okay so uh, no pattern and uh, this is it family two uh all right i don't think that's correct what can be the reason so one and uh, two and one all right and uh why is it 21 all right check this out oh, finally we have it uh let's uh finishing mass let's go to massing inside i do not want to show that okay and now let's try to uh, properly see this so smooth lines um activate both of them let's go to sketchy lines activate sketchy lines let's go to background let's go to sky and uh, let's go to lightning and top left okay okay and check this out guys finally look at how nice it looks so this was the the wall facade i was talking to you guys about look at how beautiful it, this is and of course it's completely parametric we can change it so if you go to google you know this is something that we have made right uh, uh, it's something similar to this uh, so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you learned something from it and uh, make sure to stay tuned and do subscribe and like right so that um, you know i'm motivated to make more and look at how beautiful our wall design or this can even be used as a facade what's wrong with that you know so have a good day take care of yourself and uh, bye bye